Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm coming to you guys today to show you a coffee lover's basket that I am putting together. And this is going to be used for Father's Day. Um, so let me go right in. I have a bunch of things on the table that we can use in this basket. I'm not using all these um, items, but just wanted to show you guys your options when you make in a coffee basket, of course you can put whatever you want in it. But here are some of my choices that I um, can use today That's that I have readily on hand. Um, the hot ch Interman's hot chocolate, um, little cups, in Taster's Choice instant coffee, The coffee cream or hazelnut, this came from the Dollar Tree. It's a pretty big container. A milk, a Hershey's milk chocolate bomb. The co coffee cookies, um, br brisk off. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but um, if you look, it pairs well with the coffee. And you can get these from any grocer. grocer. I got the bag of Junior's Brooklyn Bread Blend Medium Roast Ground Coffee. And my husband likes the taste of this. So I know that it, that is good. The Pearlene Dark Chocolate Wafers. You can also go in a coffee basket. And this. So I have quite a few of these pistachio nuts in the bag, it says extra large premium California pistachios, dry roasted with sea salt. These are so cute. And these came from Dollar General. Okay, so I have all my items. Um, so let me just move those out the way. and get to the co coffee pot that we are going to be using. So today I'm making two coffee lover baskets. I'm using two coffee makers. You don't have to, I mean, um, you could actually take, if you wanna make an inexpensive coffee lover's basket, you can take this coffee mug, place the coffee in there, maybe, um, maybe a creamer or something, a small creamer, and wrap that up, put a bow on it, and sell that. Um, but today, or gift this, it's, it's cute, it's cute. But today we are going to use coffee makers. So this coffee maker is a single serve coffee maker, and it's made by Elite Gourmet. It comes with coffee mug thought that was really cute so it's single serve just for dad so what I did was I took it out the box that it came in I took the instructions folded them up and placed them inside the nook of the coffee maker and placed this back in here so that and the reason why I didn't leave it in the box because it is a commercial item which comes in just a plain brown box um, you can order them from Amazon and I believe they're 23 or 24 dollars um, and it's pretty cute it's pretty cute but I'm not going to continue I'm handling that um, already handled it enough I'm gonna wipe it down just get my little fingerprints off of there and Sterilize it since I took it out the box. I'm just wiping it down. Get my little fingerprints off. Which there's not many. Okay. Okay, so we did that. So, 
you can place this in any kind of basket you want um any kind of vessel any type of basket you want but for today's purposes we are going to jazz it up so we are going to utilize the box that it came in voila right so i took the box that it came in i wrapped it up then i jazzed it up voila so now i don't have to go out buy a box or anything like that or buy a basket or use a basket that i already have um since we are putting in the coffee maker which is already the price is already high enough bringing up the the, the price of the basket um we don't have to add another how many ever do, other dollars so what i'm doing is i'm going in and I am tightening up the cord. And then I'm going to take the cord down. Um, I am going to be straight wrapping this basket. So I really got to worry about thing, items sitting where they're supposed to sit. You know that type of stuff. Um, I do have some glue dots just in case. But I did want to wipe my black cup off because just in case I don't got no I don't have any fingerprints on it but I just want to wipe it off anyway so I'm gonna wipe wipe it off and a recipient of the basket just like anything you buy from the store you wipe you wipe off anyway so they gonna wipe it off they gonna wash it they gonna wash it so but uh, I want it to be shiny okay so like I said, I'm not using all these items in this basket. I am, oh, and I have a tablecloth. So I have quite a few of these in my sock pile. Um, and I decided just to, um, so the dad can, or the recipient, birthday person, whoever gets the basket, male or female, um, they can actually take the, tablecloth, place the coffee maker on it, the cup on it, um, and I'm pretty sure that the recipient of the basket is going to utilize this. I don't want to add too much to this basket. Um, so let's go in and place this, and I think I am going to place it directly on the box. Okay, put this on top of here. Place my cup in. I do want to use the Junior's Brooklyn Brit Blend Coffee Roast. Ground coffee. I do want to use that. I'm just sterilizing it. place that in so before I place just to make sure that that stays in the position that I wanted to I am going to add some paper now you can take you can go in and you can take um you can take what is tissue paper take whatever you want I'm gonna take construction paper but I do want to be able to see I want you to be able to see um packaging of the coffee and I'm going to put some strand inside of there now at this point you can put in black strand brown strand black strand is going to blend in brown strand is going to stand out so let's see. So I'm just putting the brown shred in. And I think I like the brown shred. Get some of that in there. Yeah, I like the brown shred. 
thread. So I'm getting that in there. Okay. Okay, so what other item do I want to place in this basket? Um, I really would like to use the creamer, but I'm not going to because I, more than the creamer, I want to use the pistachios. And I'm looking at the space, the work, my working space, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get that creamer in there. Um, so we're going to, so we're placing the pistachios in there and I'm placing them right up against the coffee maker. And what else we need? We need some cookies. We need cookies. So I think I want to use the poutine. So. So if I set the poutine, the poutine um, has two directions. You can turn it up or you can turn it on its side. So I think I am going to turn it on its side. Let me see something. So I'm just playing with the placement. Just playing with placement. Okay. And I think I found my placement. Okay. Voila, simple and quick. So, I'm kind of pleased that I um, wrapped the box before I started the video. So that's what, what it looks like. It's what it looks like from behind. And I am going to proceed to go in and wrap it. Okay, so gonna wrap it with string wrap. So I took a large bag. I think this bag is was 36 by 42, something like that. Well, I took it and I cut it um, to make another basket. I think it was that curved basket. And I had this little sliver left over. So we are going to use this. So uh, let's see here. Sorry about the noise. So let's see if we can get this in here without everything falling over. Things. As soon as I say, I think it'll work, it's going to fall over. Some juke that 
that I'm going to use. I wonder if I can get away with just um, cellophane wrapping this. I probably could. But I think I want to, I think I want to continue with the shrink wrap. So I'm just taking some um, jute to tie it off. Side is open and I am going to pull that close and tape it. to tape it shut when I start strength wrapping it by the tape over here I'm going to stay away from it um, because the strength wrap will deter deteriorate it make it look funny but you do want to tape it because if you don't if you just pull it shut, um, it'll spread once you start. It'll pull out once you start shrink wrapping. So, oh, we didn't, oh, well, yes, we did. I did explain what we did. We took the Just For You ribbon, cut it, um, just cut a small piece. You guys can see me cut a small piece about that long. Taped it to the top of the box, the bottom of the box, to the, decorate the box. And I am going to shrink wrap a blow up heat wrap, heat seal it on this small thing. I'm going to move anything that can melt away from the area where I am shrink wrapping, which that includes just um, these hot chocolate bombs. I'm going to go in and tape the bottom, grab me another piece of tape, tape the other side. to go in and heat seal the basket. I have the heat seal gone on high when I first turn it on. I have it on high. I have it about 18 to 16 inches away from the basket.
So I want to go in and do this as quick as possible. So that I don't overheat the, the heat gun. Don't get it too hot to where it'll start burning a hole in my basket. So I'm over by the part I take, actually I take both, both of the sides, but I am trying to stay away from the part, that part. I'm going to go in and keep still the bottom. And while I'm done, I decided to stay with black and white things. So I am going to go in and use this ribbon here. It's kind of soft and flimsy. But we are going to use this right here. So we are just going to I think we can get away with yeah, nah. We actually could. Actually could get away with making a simple bow. Um not being too complicated here. to straighten this out. Um, I handled it earlier. I don't know. Let's see. What I'm doing now, I'm just just looking to see what it looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. Definitely like that. gonna cut this at a slant to the other side the same way just cutting it at a slant since it's that flimsy material type of ball fabric Just tying the jupe into a nice little bow.
And it came out cute. What do you guys think? I think it came out cute. So it's just simple. So right by where I taped it at, the tape is a little, got a little crinkles in it, but still don't look bad at all. Um, actually looks nice. Actually looks nice. Um, so I wanted to thank you guys um, for coming in and making this basket with me. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. So I am going to end this video, but I am going to make another video of another coffee pot that we are using a larger coffee pot um but it came out cute so don't forget about your coffee lover dad your coffee loving dads um it's pretty simple it's extremely simple you can make um a mug with some coffee in it or you can go a step above and put the coffee maker in there <coughs> sorry <coughs> i don't know where that cough came from um, but she's all done. Okay, guys, stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay blessed. Have a good one, guys.